Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. Now I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's been almost two years since I created what was probably, and still is, my most favorite set of nails ever. And they were the Luxe Blue Velvet with the crystals underneath. I do love my bling, not that you'll be able to tell from my office. I thought it was time I revisited that sort of look. It's been a while since I've done a really luxurious set of nails. I think this is brilliant for prom season and for weddings. You want something luxurious and beautiful. Before I show you how to produce them, I'm just going to give a big shout out to this week's creator of the week, and it is Keto in the UK. Ginger is such a lovely person. She has worked so hard on her channels because this is just one of her many channels. She really needs to get to that 10,000 subscriber mark, and she is so close because when she hits 10,000 subscribers, she can film back in the YouTube space in London. If you could go over and give her a big like and subscribe, that would be amazing. She's such a really lovely person. I'll link her channels down in the description down below. And in the meantime, let's get on with the tutorial. As always, I'm going to begin by cleansing my nails after performing cuticle work and filing. And there's a link in the top corner on how I do that. Then I'm going in with my favorite peel off base coat from Unt, and I'm applying this to all 10 nails. Apply a nice even layer and don't forget to cap those edges. Once that's dry, I'm going in with this gorgeous colour called Times Square from Colours by Leroux. Now this is a new brand I've come across. I can't even remember where I actually purchased this polish, but I'll do my best to link to it in the description. But it's a beautiful scattered linear hollow in amongst a multi-chrome pigment. It is so beautiful. I think it's even prettier in real life than on camera. I'm applying a second layer here after the first layer has dried and you can really see the depth starting to come out. I have to say I'm so impressed by the actual coverage of this polish, it's beautiful. Once that's dry, go in with your favourite top coat and we're applying a standard glossy top coat first and that's for hard wearing. Apply it nice and evenly over the whole nail and don't forget to cap those ends, then allow to dry. Then I'm going in with Essie Matte About You, which is what you guys all recommended to me when I asked for a new and better matte top coat. I'm applying a generous and even layer over the whole nails, and be conscious to make sure that you cover right round that cuticle area, otherwise when it dries, you'll see shiny patches from the top coat and polish underneath. Then I'm using this beautiful Paradise Shine Swarovski Crystal and Volcano Swarovski Crystal, because these sort of colour shift. And then some Rose Gold Caviar Beads, I've just decanted some top coat onto a pad and then I'm applying it with an orange wood stick onto the nail. Now this is the ring finger and I want to use the ring finger and the middle finger to create a design together. You don't have to copy me where I place my crystals, I'm just sort of trying to alternate them and any gaps that are too small for a crystal, I'm popping a caviar bead in. If you're doing this with gel polish, then I'd recommend using a builder gel or a gel polish top coat to hold your crystals and caviar beads in place as it's more hard wearing. Just keep building up that design and we're going to go right up the side of that nail. These crystals are so beautiful because depending how you turn the nail depends on what colour they shine. And you can see I'm literally just building up with the larger crystals before I'm going to start adding in a few of the little SS3 Swarovski crystals in Crystal AB. I wanted to make this a colourful design against the purple, but you could use whatever colour crystals you prefer and whatever colour caviar beads you like. Keep building up that design and pause ever so often to have a look and see how you feel. If you want to move any of your crystals or caviar beads, then do it before the polish sets. Once you're happy, move on to your middle finger and imitate the design. You don't have to do it exactly, we just want to try and copy that shape and get a rough idea. I kept lining up my middle finger against my ring finger to make sure that the points at the side came to the same point and also that I went the same distance across the cuticle area. Keep applying those crystals and beads. Oh my gosh, look, it's so pretty. I love it. There we go, just tuck a few more little ones in. 
And I think the Crystal ABs had a real extra something to this. Don't worry if you get any of the glossy top coat onto the matte polish, we're going to deal with that one in a moment. And just keep building up that image until you're completely happy. When you're finished, you can just go over the whole nail again with your matte top coat to make sure that all of the areas are matte. In fact, you don't even have to apply the matte top coat before you apply them. You could do this straight over the glossy top coat and then apply the matte afterwards. Then I'm going in with my homemade cuticle oil. And if you guys still want to see a video on how to do this, then let me know. And massage it in, but try and keep it away from the matte top coat, otherwise it will go glossy. And here are the finished nails. And they are a homage to the Luxe Blue Crystal. I did love those ones so much, but these are so pretty. You need that multi-chrome and that hollow underneath the matte to really give them that three-dimensional effect. But you can see how beautiful they look and you could tailor these beads and these crystals to whatever colour scheme you're wanting to apply. These remind me of the Cadbury's wrappers we used to get back in the 80s. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. Please let me know what you think in the comments section down below or if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see me produce. I keep getting asked for BTS nail art. I'm going to try and work on that one. I'm trying to work out how I would incorporate that into nail art really. But then after Shane Dawson's conspiracy video the other week, I'm kind of wondering, do I want to promote that? Is that something I want to promote? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. I need to say a big thank you to all of my VIPs for all of their support with the channel. If you enjoy my videos and you want to become a part of the channel family then head on over to natashalee.vip where you can sign up and get access to rewards and tiers and behind the scenes access. If that's not for you then do not worry. If you've enjoyed this video I'd love it if you could give it a thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed hit subscribe and the little teeny tiny bell icon next to it and that will notify you every time I upload. In the meantime thank you very much for watching and I will see you all very very soon.